Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Borough Home Bar. I hope you're all well and all getting in the festive spirit now that it's November because I know I am. As soon as Halloween finishes, I'm like, oh my goodness, it's Christmas time. I can't wait. <laughs> So November is just a massive build up to December to Christmas for me. Um, I'm bigging up Christmas but really this isn't a festive cocktail. I think this is a cocktail perfect for November, perfect from the for the transition from sort of spooky season, Halloween, autumn and then before Christmas there's sort of this in between space and I think this cocktail is perfect for that. I'm having a bit of a moment with chai at the moment. I drink chai lattes every day. I love them so much because I don't drink tea or coffee and for a while now I've been obsessed with chai. And it occurred to me the other day, I thought, why have I not tried to put chai in a cocktail? So that is exactly what I am going to do today. I'm going to make a, a cocktail that's a little bit like an old fashioned, so there's not too much going on in here. Um, and I'm going to call it Mr. Nice Chai. I know, right? Just names are definitely my strong thing. Not. <laughs> definitely not a stretch for me. So Mr. Nice Chai. And like I said, it's going to be a bit like an old fashioned. So it's a bourbon based drink. So we're going to have bourbon in here. Um, I just had a bit of a hankering for a Maro Nino the other day, as you do. Uh, so we're going to just put a little bit of a Maro Nino in there. Some Angostura's bitters and then for the sort of sugary part I'm going to put in some chai syrup. Now I got this chai syrup a while back to make my chai lattes with and to be honest it was far too sweet for me. I prefer the, the powder that you get for chai but then in this I was like it might be it might be kind of perfect. I'm really excited and a little bit nervous for this one because I haven't made it before um, and it's not going to be a shaken drink for once. Yeah you don't have to watch me Stand in the sh <laughs> shake with my crappy shaker. Um, it's going to be a stirred cocktail, which I don't do very often, so you know, savor the moment. Um, okay, so let's get going with this Mr. Nice Chai uh, cocktail. And in here, we're going to do 60 ml of bourbon. So I am a Buffalo Trace gal. I use Buffalo Trace bourbon a lot. It's kind of the only bourbon I ever buy. Sometimes Maker's Mark, occasionally, you know, whatever. You use whatever bourbon you like. You could even use whiskey as well. I um, love a whiskey old fashioned. Okay, so Marilyn and you, I think I'm just going to do 15 mils or thereabouts in here because I don't want to do too much. And I don't know how this is really going to go with the chai, but let me find out. Uh, a few dashes of Angster's bitters in here. And some of my chai syrup. Now, I don't know how much I'm going to put in. I'm going to start with 15 mils and then I'm actually going to give it a little bit of a swirl and a bit of a taste. Oh, that made it very dark. Okay. Oh, it's nice, but definitely a little bit more. I'll probably make this a few times. I'll put the actual measurements down below, but I think I used closer to 25 mils of the chai there, to be fair. Um, okay, great. Well, that is, that is black, that colour. Oh my goodness, it's like treacle. Um, that is all the ingredients in here, so I'm going to add ice. And then we're not going to stand and shake it. We're going to give it a good stir until it's nice and chilled. Yeah, I don't know about anyone else, but chai lattes are just so, like, autumn vibes, November, definitely, that's all I want to be drinking. Come December, probably not much will be passed on my lips other than, you know, <laughs> Prosecco and eggnog <laughs> and baguette. <laughs> um, but this is definitely, yeah, I think this is definitely going to be a kind of drink for this time of the year. Okay, that's going to be diluted just enough now. You don't want to stir it too much um, to make it too diluted. So there we go. So that is my drink in here. Then for the garnish, I have, because um, you can't have an old-fashioned, an old-fashioned style drink without, you know, in a rocks glass with a big ice cube in the middle, which I have. And just a little cinnamon stick on the side. And then some little skeleton leaves as well, just for decoration. So let's pour this in here. Looks like a like a cold brew tea, do you know that kind of colour? 
fabulous. There we go. So that is my Mr. Nice Chai. Okay, let's give this one a little taste, shall we? Ah, love it. Cinnamon smelling anything. Cheers! Oh, it's nice. I do like the fact that I've had added the amount in you. That was definitely a good shout. It is quite spicy. It's more spicy than chai, if that makes sense. If I tasted that in a bar or something, I wouldn't think, oh, that's got chai syrup in it or some sort of, you know, it just tastes kind of quite spicy, which is nice. It's just not as, yeah, it's not hitting it the way that I thought it was going to. I mean, it's lovely and I would drink it all day long. Really nice and strong. Definitely just tastes like a, a variation of an old fashioned, but I'm not getting too much of the chai in there which is disappointing. I'm getting, I'm getting spice. I'm getting, like, as it's going down my throat, like, it's warming me up. It is spicy. Um, but I thought it would maybe be more clovey, more cinnamony. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that one. Like I said, I will drink it 100%. It's a lovely old fashioned, but it's just, yeah, it's not quite, yeah, I thought it was going to taste more like, oh, a boozy chai latte. I'll experiment. I'll kind of do like a creamy version maybe with um, with china and sort of cinnamon in there and spices and we'll see how that goes with bourbon. I think that would be a nice idea to chai. To, to chai. <laughs> to chai. I meant to say to chai. I've got chai on the brain. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with how it looks. I am happy with how it tastes. Um, I'm going to let Ben have a little bit and see what he thinks. I think he'll really, really like that one. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for joining me on the Borough Home Bar again this week and I will catch you next time when I'll be making another delicious cocktail. Cheers!